In this video, we're going to learn about the wave equation and how it's used to solve a problem. This equation is used to find wavelength. That's what this symbol represents right here. It's a Greek letter lambda. And we use the speed of a wave or velocity of the wave and the frequency of the wave. Now, we're talking about wavelength. We're talking about the distance uh, of one cycle. And we can measure from a crest uh, to another crest. That would be equal to one wavelength. Or we could also do trough to trough, those would also uh, be the same thing. Now we're talking about frequency, we're talking about how many of those wavelengths will pass by a given point in one second. So let's try solving a problem. This says that a person shouts and their voice creates a sound wave with a frequency of 540 hertz. Their voice travels a distance of 154 meters before it's heard by their friend 0.467 seconds later. And then it asks us what's the speed, the wavelength, and the period of the wave. Let's start with that first one. To find the speed of the wave, we can actually uh, just take a look at a standard equation to find speed. When we're trying to find speed of something, we take how far it traveled, that's distance, and divide by the time. We know that this wave traveled 154 meters and it took 0.467 seconds. And so I've just plugged in those numbers and I find that the speed of this wave is 330 meters per second. And we use the SI units there of meters per second when we're dealing with waves. Now I can move on to the wavelength and I can use the wave equation for this. Now that I know the speed of this wave, I solved for that and found it was 330 meters per second. I can just divide that by the frequency, which was given to me in the problem up here, 540 hertz. And I'll find a wavelength of 0 0.611 meters. And when we're talking about a wavelength, that's a length, and so we use the SI unit of meter. Finally, we'll solve for the period of the wave. And the period of the wave, we use the symbol T when we're talking about period. The period is the time it takes for one wavelength to pass by a point. And this is going to be the inverse of the frequency. So if we want to find period, we just take 1 and divide it by the frequency, just like that. And so I'll plug in the numbers, and I end up with 1.85 times 10 to the negative 3 seconds. And so period is measured in the SI unit of seconds because it is a time. And that is the wave equation and how to use it. 